Hello there, it's Andy Roberts again with another seashore image editing tutorial. And this time we're going to do something uh, fun. We're going to make a ghost. So I found two pictures that I made that I, I, I took with the intention of doing this a long time ago. And I just happened to find them in my uh, iPhoto collection. So we're going to use them as an example to use some tools and see how we go. So first I've, I've got two files here on my desktop finder. One's called background, one's called man. So I've labelled them so I know which is which. Not that it matters. I'm going to open up Seashore. Here it is. File. Open. First open up the background file. I've navigated to the desktop directory. Open that one. The other way I could open it would be th with the next one. Drag man. Uh, uh, drag it down onto my dock where I've got the seashore fish icon. Release it. Now I've opened up two files. Two pictures. One called background. One called man. So I'm going to zoom out so that we can see the whole of them. So we can see what we're working with. Zoom out, remember, is Apple and page down. So there's one and the other one, Apple down arrow. I'll make the windows a bit smaller to fit. And if you see that what I've done is I've taken a picture of the same scene twice with the camera in the same location. In the first scene you've just got the front of this dilapidated old house and in the next picture a man just happens to be walking past. So the idea is we're going to put this one on top of that one and then make it uh, semi-transparent so that the man looks like a ghost. The first thing I want to do is, rather than create a layer with the whole of the second photo with the man in it, we're going to cut around the man a bit so that won't uh, <coughs> won't use up the whole picture. So we're going to use the, the lasso tool. Now there's two lasso tools. One is the freehand lasso tool, and the other is a polygon lasso tool. I'll show you how to use the freehand lasso tool. We'll start sort of tracing around like this. Da, 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 da. Draw around the man. We're keeping a little bit of the background because that's going to help line it up. But we don't want too much of the background because then we make the whole picture slightly fuzzy. So that's using the freehand lasso tool to select an area around the man. I could then use edit cut and I've cut out the man. I'm going to put him back Apple Z to get the selection and this time I'm going to use the polygon tool which will select him one point at a time. Instead of freehand drawing you're just connecting up the dots because you can position and then click, you've got slightly more control over than the freehand lasso tool. But it doesn't matter. The main thing is to practice cutting out the man. And it doesn't matter about the highlighting from the previous one. There, so using the polygon lasso tool, I've got a little bit more control over how I form the shape that I'm going to cut out. So, edit, cut, that's all I need from this picture, so I can close that window now. Don't save it. That's gone, so I've got the man. Now I could just paste it here using the floating paste, but then I wouldn't have so much control over exactly where it went. So what we're going to do is... Make sure we've got window, utility windows, hide layers. If I didn't have the layer up, it would say show layers. So click on show layers, 
and up comes the layers tool. As you can see, I've got everything in one layer at the moment. So I'm going to create a new layer with the new layer icon. Click. And there it is. It's on top. It's called layer 2. Do you know you can rename these? It's a good idea. If you start getting a complicated picture with lots and lots of layers, and it's amazing how quickly uh, what seems like a simple picture can get complicated, then it's well worth naming them so you know where they are. So I'll call this one man set and I'll call the other one background. It's good practice when you get lots of layers. Naming them will help you know where you are. So at the moment they're both visible and the one called man's got nothing in it. So we're going to have that one selected. So with the, the empty layer selected we're now going to paste in the man. I'll use edit, paste, and there he is. Obviously not in the right place, because it's just come straight out of the paste buffer. And interestingly, after pasting it, the move tool is already selected, or the position tool, as it's called. And I think I can just drag him around. Yes, I can drag him around using the mouse to put him roughly where he needs to go for a bit more control. I can use the arrow keys, that's what I'm doing there. So let's work out where he goes. Um, I can see there's a vertical line and a horizontal line that line up. That's lined up the horizontal. I think we've lined up the vertical. Obviously to do this more accurately we need to zoom in. So that's Apple up arrow. Twice. Scroll to where we are. Here we are. Now I can see, using the arrow keys to move him up and down, I can position him very accurately. That's about perfect on the horizontal. And it looks pretty good for the vertical as well, I think. about it. Right, so that's position the man. Now I can just double click somewhere. And he's floated down, I think. No, he's still a floating statue. So I'll click on this layer where it says man. Yes, that's collapsed down the, uh, the floating section and the layer. Now I'll zoom out again. Apple And now we've got the cutout man pasted into the background only picture. And then because they're in two separate layers, I can now have the man selected. This is the fun bit. We're going to reduce his opacity from 100% down to 64. 56. That's about the effect I want, I think. There he is at 40%. No, a tiny bit less. 35% opacity. And now we've got... Yeah, it worked. Uh, we'll just zoom in and show you. We've created... A ghost. How to photograph a ghost. This has been Andy Roberts for Distributed Research and look forward to seeing you at the next Seashore Image Editor for Mac tutorial. Bye for now. It's a good ghost, isn't it? that card in there.